you guys. I don't know. There's just something so classic about this album. Like, it has that perfect big mix. I said big. Mix of soul and R&B with just a touch of the new sounding hip hop that we have nowadays. Right? channel today i'm going to react to echoes of <laughs> echoes of silence by the weekend i'm really excited about this because this is the first time i'm listening to a actual the weekend album project um i don't know what this is because there's only 10 songs on it so it could be an album it could be a mixtape it could be whatever but i i'm just gonna call it a project because i don't know what it is but i'm really excited about it because montreal is the only song i've heard from this and let me tell you something, that song is so like vibed out and like, I can't even explain it. It's so good and I fucking love it a lot. Um, so I know there's gonna be like some more hidden gems on this album and I'm looking right now and one of these songs is seven minutes and 30 seconds. Jesus Christ, let's get into this, I'm absolutely ready. Before I start, please like and subscribe and let's go. The first song we're gonna be listening to is DD, it's D dot D dot. And I'm ready. Let's go. Slow, smooth intro. I don't know if you guys can hear it. And I'm sorry if the um. Shut up! Shut up! What? This is a dirty Diana cover. Oh my god! I love it already. Yes! First of all, Dirty Diana is like my favorite, one of my favorite Michael Jackson songs of all time. Literally, I'd say top 10. And I always pictured The Weeknd singing Michael Jackson's music just because he has a unique voice. But I'm kind of shook right now, like high key. I like the slow, I like how, like I can't explain it. It's, it's super different from the original. I just don't think Michael Jackson's version will ever be able to be topped, but I love this twist that he put on it. I'm kind of speechless. I I, I'm like shook, <laughs> like seriously, like I can't even right now. I need to, I need to keep listening. I'm sorry. I'm really shook like to say the least i'm honestly like so shook i seen um a couple days ago a meme on facebook or it might have been twitter i don't know um and it said i miss when the weekend used to make haunted strip club music <laughs> and like i could never put my finger on what like what kind of style music he he, he like has because it is r&b but it's like that rock in there but when they said haunted strip club music, that's exactly like, I mean, there's no other way to explain it. You know what I'm saying? Wow. 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 I was not expecting there to be a Michael Jackson cover. Like I said, I feel like I always wanted The Weeknd to sing a Michael Jackson song. Dirty Diana was like one of the main songs I wanted him to like sing. I don't know what it was, but I love his twist on it. I will not say it's better than the original Michael Jackson thing. And I don't think he was trying to, you know, um, insinuate that it was better than the original. I, I just think that my, I think that The Weeknd is really inspired by Michael Jackson. I've always seen that. But, I mean, hey, the greatest artists have the greatest inspirations. You know what I'm saying? Um, but let's continue. The next song is called Outside. I really like that song a lot. Like, this album is so, it's, it's giving me what I wanted. Let's keep going. Outside, let's go. I love how serene all the like intros to his songs on this album so far have been. And then they. Oh! Oh, shit! Yes! Wow. 
like whatever this yes you gotta get into the beat oh my god I love this kind of music too because it's chill but it also has that head-knocking vibe to it. There's no denying it. He's like a genius. To say the absolute least. Oh my god. His, vo his voice. It's like so crazy. Oh my god. Those falsettos. He's a king when it comes to falsettos. Like I said, all his, I'm just shook. I'm sorry, I'm just shook. All his songs have a vibe to them. Like, they're all different in a lot of ways, but they all have like a certain sound and like, it's so mastered that the way he did it, I, I don't know, like I can't explain. Like, I feel like if I try to explain, it'll just be me rambling on about how good this music is. Um, But... I don't know, that Haunted Trip Club music <clears throat> meme is really sticking with me, especially through this album. But, like, I don't mean that in, like, a rude way or, like, a, like haha, trying to be funny, but it makes sense. Like, think about it. Haunted Trip Club music. It just makes sense. Because he's a singer, but he's singing over rap beats or, like, typical hip-hop beat. Well, not typical, but I meant to say what typically a rapper would be rapping over. These are and the, and he's a, a fantastic vocalist. It, it just all makes so much sense, but at the same time, it's so different and something I've never seen before personally. Let's go to the next song. The next song is a seven-minute song, and it's called "The Host." Yeah, okay, now here's the thing. Usually, when songs are either the longest on the album or the shortest, they end up being the best songs, and that doesn't always happen, but for some reason, I feel like it's going to happen here. I always say that. I always say it. And it always is ending up true. And the intros are just so crazy to me. Because they're silent. Just straight up vibes. And then he, he comes in. He goes up and down with his voice. He's not monotone at all. I'm monotone. Like I just have one straight voice. Sometimes my voice goes higher, sometimes lower. Like, but when male singers can do that, oh my god. It just makes them even better, you know? Like, oh. Okay. Honestly, I think what's going on here, because I didn't see the XL in the title. I think this is two songs mixed together. Listen to that transition. Oh. Oh, that's so good. There's like something going on in the background. I can hear it. I don't know exactly what it is. I don't know if it's his singing or like a beat or something. I don't know. Guys, this is like the best decision I've made all day. <laughs> this is such a good fucking album, so shook. I will say I like this, the second part of the song better than the first part. I don't know, I do. It's like more slower, more in tune. I don't know, I like it. Like, 
I don't know. I didn't know what I was expecting, you know, because I never listened to a weekend album. So I just didn't know what I was expecting, but I'm glad I got what I'm getting, what I'm getting. You know what I'm saying? Because everything has been just so fucking good. Every song has flowed into it. I just need to keep going, you guys. Let me, let me keep going. I don't know. There's just something really about this. Especially those last two songs. I really feel like he put a lot of soul into that second song. I really like that song. I don't know. The next song is called In Intuition. In, in t yeah, I, I don't know. I can't really read. Sorry, I'm kind of slow. Let's get into this. He had like some kind of distorted voice. I was like thrown off for a second. He sounds like a demon. I can't. Like, I know it's a, an effect that they're doing on his voice, but it's so distorted. And it sounds so good. It, did, it just sounds natural. And it sounds like a demon. I'm kind of shook. See, now he's like flowing more like a rapper. Because like I said, all the songs sound like rappers could rap on them. But he's still singing at the same time, but he's like flowing like a rapper. And I think that's what makes him so unique. This, I don't know, it sounds like music that would come out in like 2012, like some pop dubstep kind of stuff. But like this part in particular, but the rest of the song just sounds like haunted strip club music. <laughs> But I'm into it. Like, don't think I'm not into it. Oh, that's it. Okay. Well, I'm I'm honestly so shook. Like, it was that was different. Okay. I don't think that was my favorite song on this album. It might have been my least favorite. But I still have hope that there's gonna be even more like good songs. The next song is called "Same Old Song." I really have high hopes for this song and a couple other songs. But I'm like, I don't know. I'm like really shook. Um. This song is called the same old song like I just said. Uh, let's get into it. See that guitar, that low strumming guitar. Ah! <laughs> and then the beat drop. Mm. This is definitely a heartbreak song. And I feel like it's gonna be my favorite song. I love his melodies. Like, they're so crazy. That's what makes you a good songwriter. And you can make something from the soul, but make it sound catchy at the same time. Some people need to learn that technique. Come on. I, I can't. <laughs> and he can hold a note. Come on! You guys, I don't know, there's just something so classic about this album. Like, it has that perfect big mix, I said big, mix of soul and R&B with just a touch of the new sounding hip hop that we have nowadays, trap. I think it's just such a perfect mix and I think that's why he works so well with music. This is my kind of shit right here. That outro is sickening, like truly sickening. What? <laughs> wow. Have you guys ever heard um, Kick in the Door by Biggie? The intro to that song sounded like what that man was just saying. 
But if you haven't, I understand. Not everybody <laughs> listens to Biggie's music. But, oh my god, you guys. Like, the vibes, the vibes, the vibes, the vibes, the vibes. I, 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 I can't. I literally cannot. Like, what the fuck is going on? Like, I literally cannot. He... He's doing his thing. Like, I'm getting way more than I expected. Way more than I expected. And I don't know. Like, this is really making me even more of a big um, The Weeknd fan. Because now I, I see why everybody is so, is so in love with him. And why they want a new album this year. Because, I mean, I wouldn't be mad either at a new Weeknd album. New Weeknd music. Come on now. The next song is called The Fall. I, I have, I, I'm just keep getting high hopes. Like I know every single song in this album is gonna be a 10 out of a 10. Let's keep going. And for some reason I have high hopes again about this song because, oh wait, I clicked on the wrong one, of course. I have high hopes for this The Fall song because XXX Tentacion has a, uh, a mixtape called The Fall and it's literally one of my favorite projects ever like any artist has ever done i fucking love it and i noticed that any song or anything called the fall ends up being so good like if you have the the mindset of naming a song that then the song is gonna be fucking good i i just know i just know I'm waiting for this beat to drop. Is there not going to be a beat drop? This is the kind of shit I love right here. There's no like bass dropping beat that a lot of people need nowadays for hits. Let's be honest. But he kept it simple. There's that boom, boom beat going on, but that's it. And then there's that, like, I don't know, this just sounds so good, fuck. How does he do it? I can't. Oh, okay. Oh, he added something a little fresh and sprinkled that shit in there. Mm. Wow. Honestly, I think throughout this whole album reaction, I've been trying to find something to compare it to, but there is nothing I can compare it to. Honestly, like there's no, there's no artist out that's doing it like this, especially male singers, I will say. Like it, it's so genuine and so new and so, oh my God, like I, I, I I don't know. I, I really can't explain it. Seriously. But I'm going to say it for everything that I have to say at the end. But let's keep going. The next song is called Next. And I'm absolutely ready. And then there's only one more song. Sad vibes. But, oh my god. I, I Like I said, short albums are usually the best albums. Like, seriously. And this is a very short album. There's a piano. And then the beat. Oh my god, it's perfect. Perfection. Wow. One thing I haven't talked about while I was talking, while I was reacting, is the lyrics. This man is a writer, okay? <laughs> a fucking writer. This is gonna be top three for me, this song right here. I don't know, it's hitting different. Hitting different than the other ones. Not to throw dirt on the other ones, cause like I said, this album has been perfect. But this song in particular, felt it in my soul. This, this that little like bridge right there with the, that beat. Oh, and then he's doing these falsettos. Oh, there it is again. 
That voice. It's so therapeutic, kind of like. It's sad music, but it's making me happy. I can't explain it. I cannot explain it. That, Cause it's my vibe. I love sad music. Any song with a piano sounds really sad, <laughs> you know. But there's something about this certain, this certain play of piano. I don't know how to say it. It's so sad. So sad. Wow. Weekend. Weekend. Abel. Yes. Yes. This is the music I came in. Oh my God, my stomach. Oh. Why does it feel like I was having a baby for a second? I'm so sorry, you guys. I'm shook. I'm absolutely shook to say the absolute least. There's one more song. I think there's one more song. I'm not sure. I don't know what's going on with my fucking computer because it's slow. Okay, this is the last song, Echoes of Silence. I honestly cannot explain how good that last song was. It was so... It was the album. It was basically like what what this album is. Like, it's, it's a perfect mix of a lot of different things. And it's so like unique and brand new i love it let's keep going the next song echoes of silence this is the self-titled song to this album and it better be good y'all this computer is so slow you have no idea setting it off, or setting the tone, I should say. Wow, I think this is a, a perfect song to end an album with. It's so, it's the essence of the album. Deep, soulful, meaningful lyrics. It's beautiful. listen to that like oh my god the reverse effects really came in good use for this album like they were all in great places and this outro is so haunting but so I can't explain it I'm, I'm overwhelmed honestly Okay, that's, that's the album. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. I'm so glad that this album ended up being good because usually when I react to artists and their first album is like, eh, I just look at their whole career and I'm like, eh, because if you're going to come in to a industry where, especially nowadays, where everybody is, well, not everybody, there's, a, there's some talented people and you really need to, your debut album really needs to be a bang. It needs debut project, whatever. It needs to be a bang. And this was exactly that. I feel like this gave us um, what The weekend is, you know? It, like, it put us in perspective of what we're about to hear for the next however long his career lasts, you know? It's honestly, he has his own sound. And nobody can duplicate that and nobody can... And nobody has ever done it, I feel like. Um, but honestly, what I see in The weekend is early 2000s R&B artist with a mix of like Michael Jackson. Like that's what I'm getting from him. Like, And I'm not talking about just the sound of his music or his hits, whatever. I'm talking about as a person, I feel like He's very talented, very talented, and has so much potential, so much potential, and 
he's living up to it. And I'm glad to see that. And I'm glad that we have a black um, R&B singer or whatever you want to call him, pop artist, whatever. It doesn't matter. I'm just so glad that we have a black male that can, you know, do his thing. Um, but overall, this album was fucking great. I'm going to give my top three. Um, next is number one. I love that song. Um, Montreal is number two because I still am in love with that song. And Echoes of Silence. Honestly, that song really is so good. This is an album that well, that I feel like I could lay here and like smoke two, three blunts while listening to the whole album. And it's just, it'll never get old to me. Honestly, this is one of those albums that's going to stick with me. But I guess it's it, you guys. Let me know your top three from this album. And let me know how your thoughts on this album. But I guess that's it. Make sure you guys like subscribe. I'm bound to the fucking thing.